Hey, Emmett, what's keeping you? Oh, hello, Harry. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck! Oh, for Pete's sake. You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just gotta ask Wait, you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply gotta get it off my chest. Oh. Uh-oh. My grandfather's suit! My formula! Oh. oh, look! Turn your head! I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lathrop Brown! Huh? Trixie Trotter. How do you know this woman? I don't! I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on! Deny to the world that you know me! Perhaps it is true, but I know you! All too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart. Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond Ouch. too. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. Well, Edna, I... Don't... Edna me. Apparently you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I never want to see you again! That was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Emmett? That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. that scene at the expo things didn't work out the way you expected but everything's gonna turn out okay see I I know how this story turns out and the story is over <gasps> okay Emmett hold still I know your emotions are running a little wild but don't do anything crazy <laughs> Emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. Mm. Mm. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. Well, don't let me bother you. Go ahead and think. Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... Get your mind off your problems. Go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein? 
I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and, and see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. And I never will. Don't give me that. You care. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Eh, yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Callahan. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Your heart's broken, I know. First breakup's a bitch, but you'll fall in love again, sooner or later. There's a woman waiting in the wings, and she's worth waiting for. Spare me the platitudes. Now that Edna has turned my heart into a desiccated husk, I'm done with love. Forever. We're all depending on you to pull it together. Why, you're gonna put Hill Valley on the map. Oh, please. My greatest fear is that I'll end up frittering my life away in this miserable town. Uh... Me! Care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt! Okay, I can work with that. I loathe you, Harry Callahan! Or is that even your real name? Uh, sure it is. Of course it is. Well, it's a dumb name. And I guess I'm dumb for getting all worked up over somebody with such a dumb name. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Callahan. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see? Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See, I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. 
You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. Don't stop dreaming. You are gonna be a great scientist. Your flattery doesn't work anymore. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to... Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you! Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas, do you hear me? My ideas. Hey, Scott, I've got it. Got what? The solution, my invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no, my airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets, not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning, the lightning! Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once, like, like... A bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super ionized static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the... What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Emmett, you're, you're, you're you again! Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind-reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at 8! <gasps> let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens! What?! I said, let's get out of here before anything... <gasps> Expo's already started. It's not going anywhere. Hey, Emmett! What? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. I can't undo the knot. It's not going anywhere. Should I go for help? Ah! Better not leave him. on doing anything else. Emmett! What? I'm sorry I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to... Forget it! This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. I'll help you finish your new invention. Great! The first step is to get me down from here! Can you climb up? I'm afraid I can't find a convenient purchase for my upper limbs! What? No handhold! Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Don't! Got any ideas for me? I think I used up my quota for the day. I'm sorry about you and Edna. Water over the bridge! Now get me down from here! Hang in there! Very funny! Hey, 
Emmett's solution. This stuff's dangerous. It's not going to help Emmett. It's not going anywhere. I can't grab it from here. Hang in there! I don't have a choice! Gotcha! Let's get out of here! Your pants! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! No! Ah! What are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! Ah! What did you say your name was again? Marty! Marty! Thanks! Don't mention it. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Uh. Tungsten! <sighs> the catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure we'll all turn out well in the end. <laughs> Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Harry Callahan? Let me explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc, 